Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pet Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to tell you guys about some major updates coming to the JP side of the game. Now, of course, my channel is a primarily global focused channel, but every once in a while, I do like to report on some JP news that I feel like is very significant or very important, and I definitely think that these updates fit that description. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start with the V jump scan for this month. And I want to give credit to a uh, Reddit user, Devil Takoyaki, for posting this scan to the Dokkan subreddit. So as you can see, it's right here. And I'll give you guys a better look right now. So this is the full, or at least as full of a scan as we have right now. And uh, there are two very exciting things that are shown on this image right here. And the first thing we'll talk about is uh, this Dokkan Fest exclusive Piccolo that's on the way. So here's his SSR art. He'll Dokkan awaken into the middle image here. And then finally, he also has a active skill with a voice line, as you can see at the bottom here, or maybe not, maybe I'm blocking it. It says voice at the bottom here, uh, where he'll transform into this, this version. And uh, of course, right now we have no idea what else he does as far as his leader skills go, um, as far as what the active skill actually does or what his passive is, anything like that. So of course, once more information comes out about this guy, I'll, get, I'll keep you guys posted with another video um, talking about that stuff. But for now, all we know is that this Piccolo is coming, he transforms with an active skill, and uh, it's just nice to finally have some justice for our boy Piccolo. He I mean, he's had some good cards in the past, right? He had that free-to-play one, uh, the AGL one with Extreme Z Awakening that is still very solid, but um, this one's, like, actually legit, right? He's a Dokkan Fest exclusive summonable one, which means he's going to be most likely very good. I'm sure he's going to be a tank. I'm sure he's going to be um, just a very good unit overall. So, once again, I don't know any details about him, but I can assume that since he's summonable, since he's... A new Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. Um, this one's gonna be very legit and I'm very happy about that. And my only question at this point is uh, when are they gonna give the same treatment to our boy Krillin? You know, like, <laughs> it's great. It's great that Piccolo is getting this treatment now, but uh, I definitely want to see a Dokkan Fest exclusive Krillin at some point or maybe even a free-to-play LR. So uh, I personally be really happy with a Dokkan Fest Krillin or even a um, like world tournament reward. Honestly though, if I'm thinking about it, like based on what they've been doing in the past with those World Tournament LRs, I feel like Krillin is next in line maybe, or at least somewhere along the process, so uh, hopefully we see that soon. Anyways, that's totally off topic, I just want to see a good Krillin in this game. Okay, so the second thing now is this little image on the bottom right here, and uh, it basically is saying that the next Prime Battle LR is going to be First Form Cell. As you can see, First Form Cell is right here. It's a very tiny image, not the best quality, but it tells us enough to know that the next Prime Battle LR is going to be a First Form Cell. And as always, um, with V-Jump scans, they don't give us much information, but I'm sure he's going to be fine. These Prime Battle LRs these days have all been really good. Obviously not as good as Summonable LRs, but very, very respectable. And if he's anywhere um, in the same range or possibly a little bit better than like the Int Vegeta or the uh, AGL Trunks, then uh, he's going to be very solid. So I'm excited about that. There's going to be some free stones as well once we get his uh, Legendary Campaign, which I mean, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's not going to happen for a while, but uh, it will happen at some point down the line, right? So <laughs> we can kind of like get a little bit excited about the potential of that but the other thing is that just like people have been speculating forever you know for the past couple of months uh, about what the next LR was going to be for the prime battle LRs and uh, now we know it's going to be the first form cell I was hoping for a Bardock to be honest but I guess we already have a summonable Bardock and um, I guess they didn't want another Bardock so early I, I don't really know I don't really know but I'm okay with the cell that's totally cool so there you go, guys. And uh, by the way, if I wasn't clear before, both of these are coming to JP first. This is a JP-focused uh, video. So, you know, for us global players, we're eventually going to get this stuff, but it's probably going to take a while. And uh, I wouldn't, you know, get too excited about it right now. So, mainly for JP players right now. All right, so we got the Piccolo. 
we got the cell. And next up, we have two major quality of life changes that um, Bandai actually posted to their Twitter page. And the first one is the expansion of the uh, inventory for items. So as you can see here, it's just an image, and it basically tells us that instead of being able to only have up to 999 items uh, for like training items or uh, awakening medals or support items, now the maximum we can carry is 9,999, which is a huge increase. I mean, exactly a 9,000 item increase, and uh, it's gonna be really great for people who, for everybody, first of all, but um, especially if you keep like hitting the limit for certain items like Bubbles medals or Dr. Jero medals or something like that, now it's not as much of an issue. I'm sure eventually, if you play for long enough, you'll still hit that cap, but um, so now, like I said, it's less of an issue for JP players. Um, quality of life ish, uh, or changes quality of life like improvements usually take at least a couple months from JP to global, and I don't understand why that takes so long, because it's not really like something that Bandai makes money off, but that's a totally different topic that I can complain about for a while. I can probably make a totally different video about it, so we're not gonna talk about it here, but uh, for JP, uh, we're getting that and the next thing is another quality of life change. And this one is actually extra, extra exciting because um, it's just a massive improvement to the game. I mean, the other one was too, but this basically is a huge increase to the stage movement um, when you're playing. I think it applies to any stage. I, I might be wrong, maybe it's only like certain stages, but it looks like it's for all stages. If you guys pay attention here, you'll notice that the Goku, the SR Goku, is moving significantly faster than he does currently in the game. And it's just gonna make getting through stages so much more efficient, so much quicker. And um, I love it. I think it's freaking awesome. And it looks like to me, I don't know the exact like ratio or exact increase, but it looks like it's at least a two times speed increase. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to like, you know, change that in the settings. Maybe we can choose like regular speed or two times speed, or maybe it's just gonna be set to two times speed or whatever this is right now um, permanently once the update comes. I don't know anything about that. All I know is this is happening. I love it. I love anything that makes playing this game less painful and more efficient. So um, those are two great, great changes right there. And that's pretty much all the news I have for you guys today. Uh, we got the Piccolo that's coming up. We got the Prime Battle Cell. We got these two awesome quality of life changes. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which of these things you're the most excited for, whether it's the two new units or it's these light quality of life changes. And of course, once more info comes out about the Piccolo and the Cell, I'll make another video to keep you guys up to date. And that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you liked the video, and make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.